Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to remap hardware buttons on Android without needing root. Now, button remapping has pretty much always been possible on Android as long as you were rooted. But even though it can offer some great functionality, not everybody is willing to deal with all the stress of rooting. That's what really piqued my interest when I came across an app from Legendary Elemental X developer Flar2 because it actually lets you remap your hardware buttons without root. The app itself is called Button Mapper and is still in its beta testing phases, so you'll have to become a tester before you can install it. So to begin, head to step one in my full tutorial where I've linked out the beta signup page. From here, just make sure you're signed in with your primary Google account, then hit the Become a Tester button at the bottom of the screen. At this point, you're ready to install the app, so tap the link that says Download it on Google Play, then install it like you would any other app. Now once you've got Button Mapper installed, there's just a tiny bit of setup that you'll have to do before you can start remapping your buttons. First up, you'll see a message at the bottom of your screen, so go ahead and tap Go here. Next, just select the Button Mapper option, then enable the service with a switch at the top of the screen, and press OK on the pop-up. From here, head back to the app, and now you'll be ready to remap your buttons. Now the only hardware button this doesn't work with is the power button, and of course on-screen buttons aren't hardware, so they can't be remapped either. But your volume buttons, capacitive buttons, home button, and even the camera key can be fully remapped. And on the main menu here, you'll see all the buttons that are eligible on your particular device. So to remap one of these, just select it from the list. Next up, enable the customize switch at the top of the screen, then you'll see two options. You can set a custom single tap and long press action for this button, but the double tap feature requires the Pro version, which will run you 249. So to remap this button, start by selecting the single tap option, then you'll see a list of actions that you can assign to it. These are all system functions that should come in handy for pretty much any button, but if you'd like, you can also use this drop down menu at the top of the screen to make this button launch an app or a shortcut. Then once you've got that one set up, you can repeat the same process for the long press action if you'd like. And really, that's how I plan to use it. Just leave the short press action the same as it always was, but add a second action when I long press the button. After that, of course you can remap all your other hardware buttons, but as soon as you do, you'll be all set to go. These custom actions will take effect on the fly, so they don't even require a reboot. And to me, the coolest part about all this is you don't even need to be rooted to try it out. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.